and I must be doing a great job. Either that, either that, or you guys are just like, yo, let's get out of here. All right, so we'll get out of here in a few minutes, and uh, I just want to make sure that we put you in a position to to pass this thing. So again, for the six hundred one. Uh, we're going to just annotate a little bit here and and check out some of these these things for you. Uh, if you've never um, taken any practice exams, you may be in trouble by now. So I would encourage you to take as many practice exams from reliable sources as possible. Uh, so when we're talking about architecture and design, you know you absolutely one hundred percent need to know the IP address schema. You got to know that. You got to know how we can protect it. And um, you know, you'll see probably one question on DLP on there. Uh, I'd be surprised if you didn't see a question on SSL and TLS. Uh, at least one question on hashing. There's the word API. You, you may be interested in that. Uh, absolutely, the different types of resiliency sites you'll see. And usually we see something on a, 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 a honeypot. Uh, we went through all these. Uh, the cloud models, you'll see one question on that more than likely. You may see one question on the MSP, MSSP. And uh, those are, those are kind of um, similar, so know the difference between those two. And then, uh, you know, the virtualization, probably knowing what a virtual machine is, is good enough. And knowing how it works, uh, not for all the inners of, of how virtualization, but basically uh, the host machine has guest operating systems on there. And uh, you definitely need to, to know how those work. Moving on here, something of interest for you if you're going to be taking the Security Plus, is the different types of environments for uh, development and automation, different environments, uh, you know, for your the ability that you are going to be in this profession, you got to know what the different types of environments are. Um, that, you know, developers have their own development environment, and then they, you know, in the life cycle, they push it out the test environment, and then they push it out the staging environment, and then they push it out the production. And that all the while, uh, you got people testing it, making sure that the quality assurance of it is it work, working properly. If we went over the provisioning and deprovisioning. I would definitely know both of those. Um, you may see something on OWASP. Uh, I'd be surprised if you see anything on any of this, though. I, I, I would not. Uh, I'd be surprised if you saw that. Uh, you know, basic scripting. What is a script? What does it do? And, um, you know, is it scalable? I think elasticity goes with scalable, but those are all things that are important. We went over in really good detail how Active Directory works. And, um, you know, I would remind you to just watch that video because it goes over all of this stuff. And we even threw in biometrics. I, I talked about some of my experience at NASA dealing with that in the biometrics, I would encourage you to take a look at that uh, that video. That's a pretty good one, uh, or at least I think it is. And here, uh, you know, the basics of, of what redundancy is, how does that work? Maybe knowing what a, a, a UPS is, that'd probably be helpful. Um, the differences in backup types. I would know that you're gonna see probably one question on that. Uh, scalability, you see it here again, meaning high availability. Uh, that's important. That's important. Down here, what are these embedded systems? Have, everybody's heard of a Raspberry Pi and an Arduino, and then the field programmable gate array. That's the FPGA. That's like a, uh, a super awesome way that you can program these little tiny pieces of hardware. Uh, SCADA, we, we talked about that being, um, you know, like the, the, the big warehouse floors and, and like at Toyota, they may, they may have, um, they may use SCADA systems there, industrial control systems, um, and, and using sensors. We talked about all those. Uh, 
Internet of Things mentioned, and, and I would recommend that you you know those. And uh, you know, I'd, I'd say that there's a good chance you probably would see something on maybe something on surveillance systems. So uh, although they 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 like using the word drone as well, so I would I would recommend that you you know what. A drone is and how that can be used for uh, malfeasance. Uh, the word bollard, what does that mean? Uh, you probably see something on a guard. Maybe something on lighting. We talked about the CPTED, crime prevention through environmental design. These Faraday, Faraday cages are, are cool. If you've never researched those, uh, Google it. Pretty neat. The you know, server room and secure areas, I would uh, you probably see one question on that. And then how do we get rid of it? How do we get rid of it? Uh, down here, probably the most difficult thing that people deal with is this damn encryption. But you remember, I hooked you up. I hooked you up. I gave you a pretty good overview of how encryption works. We we talked about uh, you know Active Directory and and how how that kind of ties everything together. If you recall, um, we went through. We talked about the the signatures, how those work, the different key links. We went through hashing and salting. We did the, the rainbow attack, uh, the, the birthday attack we talked about, the rainbow tables. We went through, talked about elliptical curve cryptography, as well as uh, steganography, symmetric and asymmetric. You remember the, the mnemonic ways to remember those things. That's important. Um, and, you know, I would say that uh, weak keys is probably something that you're uh, interested in, in seeing there. In addition to that, uh, you know, just knowing cryptography is pretty cool. So keep that in mind. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Don't you don't need to know? You don't need to know at all. You don't need to know at all. Um, and that's that's why I'm I'm trying.